Hello and welcome. So, big NFC South news. The New Orleans Saints have a new starting quarterback, and that is Derek Carr. They paid him big money. Um, they, I guess, won the free agency bidding war that was uh, for Derek Carr. It seemed obvious that he was always going to go to the Saints because he visited with the Saints when he was still on the Raiders, and I feel like the Saints probably just kind of told him, listen, say you're not going to accept a trade so that we can get you without giving anything up. Um, so he's going to be the Saints quarterback. But what does that mean? Um, not a whole lot. Now, Derek Carr is a good quarterback, but I think we would all agree that he is not a great quarterback. Um, and there's no shame in having Derek Carr as your quarterback. But is Derek Carr scary? Is he frightening? Is he elite? No. Uh, it does give the Saints, I would say, as currently constructed, the best quarterback in the division. Um, but that's not saying much. I mean, Desmond Ritter, Matt Corral, Kyle Trask. These are relatively unproven guys. So, right now, yes, the Saints have a very big advantage in terms of winning the division and moving forward because they have the quarterback in the division. They have the only quarterback that's been to the playoffs. They have the only quarterback that started a full season. They have the only quarterback who's a pro bowler. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to help them out long term. Um, I don't see Derek Carr as somebody who's going to take the Saints deep in the playoffs. I do think that the Saints could easily win the division or make a run at a wild card spot and get themselves into the playoffs. I don't think, though, that Derek Carr would take them too much further than that. I think while Derek Carr is, again, a solid quarterback, I think it's a good pickup for their team, uh, just based on the kind of team that they are. You know, they've got a solid defense. They've got solid weapons. They've got a good run game. Um, in that kind of a scenario, Derek Carr is definitely somebody who can help you out, but I don't think that when they match up against, you know, a team like the Niners or the uh, the Eagles in the playoffs or something, one of the top tier teams, one of the better teams in the NFC, I don't see Derek Carr prevailing. So good move by the Saints from the aspect of that will keep them competitive. And that's a huge improvement for them in the uh, in the quarterback room versus what they had last year in Andy Dalton and Jameis Winston. RIP to Jameis Winston's Saints career as it seems to be on the Seems to be he seems to be on the outs. Um, that would be his second NFC South team that believed in him that he failed with. So now maybe he'll move to the Panthers. I don't know. We'll see. But Derek Carr, a Saint. Honestly, it feels like it doesn't change that much. It feels like it doesn't change as much as it should for the amount of money that they're going to be paying him. So we'll see. Um, only time will tell. But yeah, I think the Saints uh, make a good move, but not a great move at the quarterback position. As always. Hope you had fun. If you did, click subscribe and you have yourself a great day.